Hello, this is Barbara from Sinker Ranch Branch Library. I'm here to talk about a wonderful book I found. It's called Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Uh, this is a book by Susanna Clark. It is her debut novel. Um, it actually rose to the number three in the New York Times bestseller list. This book is an alternate history. It takes place in the early 1800s during the time of the Napoleonic War in England. This book has three volumes within it. The first volume introduces Gilbert Norrell. He is a short, curmudgeonly little man, not very friendly, but he wants to be a magician and he wants to practice magic and be the only one practicing magic in England. And he can do this because for a last, uh, maybe a couple hundred years, no one had been practicing magic. And people were studying magic, but they didn't have many books to study because he, throughout the years, had bought up all the books that came available. And so he had amassed a huge library of magic books. Uh, there was a group called the, the League of, New of York Magicians who he wanted to impress with his capabilities so that they would allow him to practice magic. So what he did, um, he had a couple of magical feats that he did were, that were spectacular. One of them was that he brought back to life the deceased wife of one of the cabinet ministers, Sir Walter Pohl. She had recently died and through the help of this powerful fairy, he brought her back to life. So this league was so impressed with his capabilities that they allowed him to practice magic in England. And because now he was one of the magicians in England that could practice magic, the British government asked him to help with the war against Napoleon. Now we go into volume two. So this introduces Jonathan Strange. He's another gentleman who wants to practice magic. Now he is totally unlike uh, Gilbert Norrell. He is tall, he's friendly, very personable, and people like him. His idea is that he wants to practice magic and he wants other people to practice magic too. Now his ideas are, are pretty much different than Norrell, but even though that, Norrell agrees to have him as a pupil. And he even allows uh, Strange to, to read some of his books out of his library to study. Throughout this time, he has now Strange is learning magic. And because people like to work with him, the British government asked if he would help with the war against Napoleon. So he enlists with the Duke of Wellington to help him. Now he's away for a whole year, and it's this section of the book that I find is the most clever and the most funny. Uh, after he had comes back, um, a lot of things have been going on while he's been gone. And this fairy, this powerful fairy that had helped brought back um, the cabinet minister's wife, has some plans for, the, for her and also for the cabinet minister's servant and also Mr. Strange's wife. So he wreaks havoc on their lives. And at the end of volume two, a surprising event happens, which I will leave you to read about. Now we're on to volume three. After this surprising event, Jonathan Strange goes to Venice, Italy to escape. There he tries to learn more about the magic so he can actually break the spell of this powerful fairy because he has enchanted Mrs. Mrs. Poole, Strange's wife, and the servant. Now whether he'll be able to do it or not, I'll leave it up to you to find out. This book is, as you can see, quite long, but it is very exciting, and as you read it, you will not realize how many pages you whiz through as you read it. It's, it's so fun. Um, and after this, after you read the book, you can go on to our Hoopla um, service on, off of our website, and you can um, watch the seven episodes of the TV adaptation of this book. And that's what I'm going to do next. So I hope you will check this book out. I hope you will enjoy it, and then you can watch the TV adaptation too. Thank you.